Hey everybody, I'm Melissa and welcome to my channel. As you can tell from the title of today's video, this is going to be a Q&A and I'm so excited to be filming today. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram to ask me some questions about faith, about my life, just about different things in general, and you guys sent in a ton of questions, so why don't we get into them? So first things first, what is the best and worst Disney film? Oh my goodness, that is a really tough question. If you couldn't tell from behind me with my Minnie Mouse ears, I'm a huge Disney fan and it's to be fair, it's really hard to pick a worst Disney film. I'm just gonna say it off my personal preference. So my best Disney film, my favorite Disney film is by far Tangled. I love that film so much. It's like my favorite movie of all time. It's just so cute and it's just such a feel good movie and I love it. As far as worst Disney film, mm, that's a really tough question and I feel like I'm gonna be slated in the comment section below for my choice. I am gonna have to say The Incredibles because I watched that movie when I was little and I never really liked it and I've never watched it since then because I just don't find it that interesting. So I'm gonna say The Incredibles. I'm sure it's a really good film but I just don't find it that interesting and I haven't watched it for years so who am I to say? The next question is do you like to sing and what is your vocal range and do you take voice lessons? Really good question. Um, yes, yeah, so I absolutely love to sing. I'm a worship leader at my church and I just absolutely adore worship leading so much. And I would definitely say that my vocal range is soprano. My lower range is not the best, I'm not gonna lie. Like I really find it hard to sing like lower songs, which is actually quite strange because I feel like my voice in general, like when I speak, I feel like it's quite low. But when I'm singing, my voice is really high. So that's kind of strange, but yeah. And I do not take singing lessons currently although I did growing up so probably from when I was like 12 to 15 I took vocal lessons and I would definitely recommend it it was so helpful for me where do you go to school and what are you studying so I actually just graduated from a bible college near where I live and yeah I basically studied youth and community and theology so it was like a double course bachelor's degree so some of my classes were like mainly theology and then others were about young people and the community I absolutely loved it and my graduation is actually in October so I'm finished now with all my classes and I'm just so grateful for that place like genuinely such a good bible school if you guys are interested in the theology or working with young people or ministry or anything like that bible college is such a good route to go down next question <laughs> shout out to you Jack because you asked me so many questions and I appreciate it this one is a bit weird if you had to get rid of an animal from existence which would it be Oh my goodness, the first one that comes to mind, love bug. Any Floridian that is watching this video will know that love bugs are terrible. <laughs> so I used to live in Florida when I was growing up, so I now live in England, but when I was living in Florida, these love bugs would be everywhere. They would stick on your car, they would stick on my arm, they would like stick in my hair, like they're disgusting. And they're actually scientifically made, so they're not even made by God, like they're made from scientists, which I don't agree with. So I would probably say get rid of love bugs because it's really annoying. Sorry, love bugs. The next question is, what's your current favorite book of the Bible and song? Really good one to think about, hmm. So at the moment, I'm currently, so at the moment, I'm gonna say my favorite book of the bible is romans because if you guys didn't know my favorite bible verse of all time is romans 8 28 and i just love the book of romans it's just really powerful and i just love everything about it so i'm gonna say romans and my favorite song at the moment i'm gonna have to say lean back by capital city music and Maverick City Music also did a version of it as well. But it's just such a good worship song and it just makes my heart really happy and oh, it's just so good. One of the lyrics is like, I will lean back in the loving arms of a beautiful father. And I just love that lyric so much so good what are you most proud of that's a really good question brb <laughs> so this devotional right here is my devotional and this is probably what i'm most proud of like when i first started university i kind of had this like dream that I really wanted to write a devotional and obviously I work with young people so my heart is really for them and I really wanted to create a resource that would help young people in their faith and I did and I'm just so proud of this. I released this last year and you guys can still get it. It's on my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out as well but it's basically a short devotional. It's a 10 day one for young people or anybody who's new to the faith, anyone who wants to know more about Jesus and basically this devotional goes through like different topics so like what is 
is sin? What is grace? Why did Jesus have to die? You know, all these different things that Christians tend to ask and they have questions about. So yeah, I'm definitely most proud of my devotional. It's called The God Who, so yeah. Any tips for long distance relationships and where was the first place you and Josh met? Love you, girl. I love you too, girl. Thanks so much for the question. So me and Josh actually first met in our current church that we are attending. So he's been attending our church for years and years, but I actually just started like three years ago. So I was joining my church because basically my university asked me to do a placement. Um, so basically they asked me to find a church where I could work with young people. So I left my old church and I was on the hunt for a new church because I kind of felt led by God to just try and find a new church because my old church, like I loved being there and stuff like that, but I felt like it was time to move on. So I did and I felt the Holy Spirit leading me to my current church and I absolutely flip and love that place. So I started attending there and then a couple weeks then I actually met Josh and then a couple of months later we started talking and becoming friends and things like that and then he asked me out. So yeah, very cute. And tips for a long distance relationship. My first relationship was actually a long distance one and it was really difficult, like not seeing that person for long periods of time. So mine was like across the country. So I literally only saw him like a couple times a year and I understand that long distance can be so difficult. But I'm just gonna say like if you if you've prayed about it and you feel a confirmation from God that this person is the right one for you and you can see a future with them, you can see a marriage with them in the future, then I would say like even distance won't be able to stop that because God will keep you guys connected and he will help you bridge that gap of the distance. And I would also say like make sure your communication is on point because obviously when you're just talking on messenger a lot of the time and you don't get to see them face to face, the number one thing that the enemy will try and do is try to separate you through your communication because texting on your phone like it's just not real communication is it let's be real like when you're face to face with somebody you can tell their expression you can tell what they're trying to say like how they're trying to get that point across but when it's on your phone like sometimes you can take it the wrong way so I would just say make sure your communication is up to scratch and of course in any relationship I would say make sure Jesus is in the center because that is by far the most important thing <sighs> what are your summer plans any trips planned so this is a really good question. In England, where I live, basically COVID is still kind of going on. So in our country, we basically have like an amber list, I think, and a green list and a red list. So the majority of the countries around the world are still on the red list. So it means that we cannot travel anywhere really. So there are a few places that we can travel. Like obviously we can travel around England and Scotland, I think. But yeah, really not many places at the moment. So I do not have any summer trips planned, to be honest, because of that reason. Like a lot of places are just on the red list so yeah but I would absolutely love to go somewhere in England because I think that this country is so beautiful and I think that there's so many places that I haven't even discovered yet so yeah I would love to go somewhere in England but I will keep you guys updated on my Instagram if I manage to go somewhere the next question this one's so good what's a good way to share your faith without being too blunt so I would say try to weave it into the conversation somehow so maybe if they're talking about like the fact that they're going through a tough time you could be like oh I'm praying for you like have you ever tried praying or something like that or if they're maybe you're talking about like what you've done at the weekend maybe you can be like oh I went to church like have you ever been to church before you know just try and like weave it into the conversation so that it seems natural like you don't always have to just say like do you believe in Jesus like straight away like if you kind of weave it into what you're saying already it can make it more natural and less blunt so yeah that's what I would say how do you fit all your commitments into your life such a good question thank you Jack so if you guys didn't know I would say that I'm quite heavily involved in my church ministry so I work with young people, I'm a worship leader, I try to attend as many services as I can and you know on top of that I love to do YouTube, I had university things to do so a lot of the time I'm quite a busy person and I think this is a really good question because sometimes it's difficult to fit everything into your life but I would say it's so vital to keep a good balance between everything so for me like I have a boyfriend it's so important to me that I see him most importantly it's important that i spend time with jesus and to make time for that in my weekly routine and my daily routine i also still live with my family so for me it's so important that i have that time with them as well and on top of that you know my university was really important to me and church life was really important to me so for me i just try and keep a balance so have specific times for things written in my diary so usually on saturdays i tend to spend that day with josh and then Sundays, you know, I have church in the afternoon. I like to spend that time with family 
family and obviously in the evening sometimes I have church things on but some evenings I like to block out to spend with my family as well and then obviously during the day I make sure that I have a set time to spend with Jesus so I think just make sure that you keep a balance make sure that you schedule in time with people and time with God time with family you know basically things that are really important to you make sure that you schedule it out in advance so that you won't have to worry about that but I would also say like your capacity can grow and you know for me um, when I first started university I didn't really know what to expect I didn't know how much the workload would be so for me like I started out in ministry kind of slowly and I didn't take on too many things but as time has gone on my capacity has grown so I've been able to take on more things because I know that I'm more organized now you know I know that I can get better at time management and all these different things so over time your capacity can definitely grow if you let it so I would say that yeah <laughs> a less serious question what is the best meal you have ever had oh my goodness that is a really tough question <sighs> okay I'm not gonna lie I love a good home-cooked meal my mum and dad are really good at cooking and I love everything they make me like I tend to really enjoy home-cooked food to be honest so I would either say like a home-cooked meal that my mum or dad has made or maybe one time me and Josh and his family we went to this restaurant called Duck and Waffle in London and that meal was so good it was basically like duck and uh, they gave you like this waffle that was like sweet so you had like the different sweet and savory flavors going on and it was just really really good it, it sounds weird but honestly it was so good and then also another meal that comes to mind is for mine and Josh's two-year anniversary Josh made me like a steak dinner with like steak and potatoes and vegetables and he made like a chocolate tart for dessert and like that was so good so yeah those are like three different meals that come to mind but I am definitely a eat at home type person like I'd rather eat at home than eat out but yeah and the last question is how do you strengthen your faith in God especially when your mind is filled with negative talk so I think that's such a good question and for me I would say if you want to strengthen in your faith in God it's really important to prioritize him in your life so not just on a Sunday when you go to church but you know throughout the week as well so make sure you're talking to him regularly you know it's just like a relationship with a partner or a friend like you have to be talking with them you have to communicate with them if you want to get closer to them right so it's just like that and I work with God we have to talk to him we have to listen out for his voice too and I would say you know worship is so important make sure that you're putting on worship music make sure you're spending time in the Bible make sure you're surrounding yourself with Christian friends as well obviously it's important to have friends that aren't Christian too but you know having Christian friends having a church community really can help you grow in your faith so I would say that you need to prioritize God in your life holistically not just on a Sunday or you know one day of the week and yeah definitely like negative talk is such a huge thing and a bible verse that kind of comes to mind is Romans 12 2 and it says you know let God transform your mind it's so important to ask God to help you with that because you know overthinking is a real thing but like we need the help of God to get through that so I would say definitely pray about it and align your mind with the truth so as soon as a negative thought comes into your head get rid of it and replace it with the truth from God's word so you know if you're thinking like oh I'm, I'm like a horrible person or you know oh I've messed up and I feel so ashamed you can go to Romans where it says you know everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God but that's why Jesus died you know what I mean like replace those lies with the truth thank you so much for all of your questions genuinely it means the world world that you guys ask these questions and I hope that I can help you in some sort of way. You guys are so amazing and if you want to be featured in my next Q&A video don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I love you guys so much. Again if you ever need prayer DM me. I'm here for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!